Everywhere you go in Norwich, you see a church. They come in all sizes and shapes. In fact, there's so many of them, they're often overlooked. Many believe that there was once a church for every Sunday within the city walls. Well, I can tell you that over a century before the walls were even built, the city already boasted 56 of these medieval masterpieces. So that claim is indeed more than correct. That number has fluctuated over the centuries. The Black Death, for example, which swept through Norfolk in 1349, meant that many parish churches fell into disuse, primarily from a lack of priests and parishioners. Then it was a certain Henry VIII who started his dissolution of the monasteries in 1536. And of course, during the bombings of World War II, we lost three more, including St Benedict's Church, where just the tower remains today. Despite this, 31 medieval churches survive within the city walls, an area of just 1.5 square miles. But in 1967, a review by the Diocese of Norwich indicated from all of the medieval churches, just eight were needed for worship. I'm meeting with Felicity Hartley from the Norwich Historic Churches Trust at one of the churches that's still open for worship, that's St Giles on the Hill. The Norwich Historic Churches Trust was founded about 40 years ago to look after 18 of the city's medieval churches that had been declared redundant and that are not needed for worship any longer. With medieval buildings, there is always work that needs doing. So what we aim to do is to find good tenants for the churches who can pay us rent, and that makes us a sustainable organisation, and we can repair and keep the churches in good condition. Today, the townscape of Norwich is dominated by its churches. Indeed, we have more of these medieval structures within our city walls than any other city north of the Alps. So next time you're out in the city, take a moment to stop, look up, and soak in the history that is the medieval churches within our fine city walls.